YouTube family. Thank you so much once again for tuning in for another Beast Kingdom action figure review. This time is of the armored Batman from Batman vs Superman. And this guy, you know, looks pretty good. It looks pretty good from what we see here in the window. And also look at that gorgeous drawing in the back. That looks really beautiful. I have reviewed other figures and I kind of do wish that Beast Kingdom would have kept this art box consistent with the other releases. I believe these were their first figure releases. So they try to, you know, make it look very presentable and maybe got lazy later on with the Justice League figures. But question is, is the figure as cool as this box art? Let's find out. Let's find out right now. So look at that arm of Batman. When you look at the figure, just from uh, from for what it is pretty much is standing there this is a beautiful piece you see the texture of the of the armor here that's the consistent all throughout the entire figure looking at the armor head the mouth area the paint the flesh paint looks amazing i like it maybe some five o'clock shadows the way that they did with the regular ver version it would have been nice however what we got here this looks pretty good if it looks like it is ben affleck under this suit the eyes look pretty good though if they would have given it led with the flashing eyes that would have definitely been cool the way that mesco did theirs the way that they painted the head here looks really good it does have a little bit of gray a little bit of looks like bronze goldish you know wash over it uh torso area here it is soft material so that's pretty good i did not expect that i thought it was just hard but under here you can see that they have the same the bat suit under there still and it is consistent with the uh with the texture i kind of try to look in there to see if it does have the batman logo underneath but he doesn't you can see the details here that's pretty neat right here has some sculpt and detail there he does have the strap that's come out through here but it is soft so it's not going to get in the way of anything you can see the strips here it is painted like a, a lighter silver now the buckle here i think it would have been nice if they would have painted it instead of it blending all in and you can see that the strap does go all around and while we back here the back here they they definitely added their detail the cape looks nice they should have kind of added a little bit of brown washing in the bottom of the cape here because it was raining in that scene and this john you know muddy and all of that good stuff so texture does look good though but it has some weight to it the feet are a little bit bigger so he can stand without you know needing anything whereas a regular batman version couldn't so if you've seen that review you will see me talking about it soft cape would have definitely helped Especially with the posability because the cape kind of tends to push the legs forward. And that isn't okay. The arm, you can see that the armor is nicely sculpted and it does have some lines running through. He has this part which is loose. Now one thing that I did find kind of weird, his arm does not straighten up. Like the elbow piece is there. But when you bend his arm, it just goes with his forearm instead of, you know staying back here you know what i mean or kind of giving them an extra bend gauntlet over here textured does have this part right here which does have that same type of wash all throughout and then you can see his fist is textured as well his utility belt is also fairly accurate maybe has a little too much black weathering on it but it is pretty accurate i'm sorry i have a napkin in my hand the belt is a floating piece as well Looking at his legs, we can see the armor continuing with all of the uh, texture and same type of paint job. You can see all of the scope, the work, and the details. You can feel it all. His knees looks pretty good. Yeah, they did pretty good executing this guy, in my opinion. At least the paint job and the detail on it, it does look good. Looking at the boot, looks pretty good. And he does have the little spikes in the bottom of the boot. For articulation, head goes around. A head pivots just a little bit. It doesn't doesn't look up. 
and kind of looks down but very minimal arms goes up have that drop down that butterfly joint it does have arm swivel and 90 degree and goes around and does move chest area he does swivel no side to side movement waist area does go around it wait hold on because that's the top part still and the waist area oh, yeah, yeah. what it looks like waist area does swivel as well legs go out about that much and if you use the drop down that his leg does have he could kick forward but it's to the side it also have a swivel there no die cut though bend at the knee pretty good no boot cuts or nothing but he can do a 360 but because of the way that it is cut it does gets in the way with this cut right here so he can't really do so all the way but he does have toe hinge mine's are just kind of stuck but he does have toe hinge and ankle rocker he has some because of the armor piece it does gets in the way as well so but yeah for accessories he comes with this he comes with three of them and this is die cast it does have the line throughout and it, it doesn't bend at all maybe if they would have added a little bit of like gray washing would have made the it would have made it pop a little bit more but the grappling gun which this is nicely painted you see the uh handle here is a silver there with some black wash inside of there making it stand out and you can see these these areas right here nicely painted he does have a hole there because he comes with this little attachable which is pretty neat as well and you can attach that to there and he also comes with this little stringy thingy right here which you can attach there and have this at the end of it so that's pretty neat that they added that but this part this isn't like this is just like this what you see pretty much it doesn't have no possibility option to it it's just a string you know it's just a string that just you know kind of just hangs there I do appreciate that they added it though you know so yeah he also comes with this gun it's black with you know but it does have gray wash over it that makes the details pop out more like these little pieces right here you know and kind of like up here as well so that's pretty neat that they added that they should have added this effect on the batarang too but they didn't but it's okay still pretty neat cheers it does come with this hand which you could use the batarangs that he comes with grandma slapping hand slap your mama i'm playing don't slap your mama comes with one trigger finger hand it is for his right hand and finally he also comes with the stand that we've seen all the other beast kingdom come with uh, I don't want to get it out of here because I am going to sell this guy and I would like to keep this as new as possible But yes, he does comes with the stand if you guys seen my other videos You guys already know these do not really fit these figures good because they they are they're short But what I do like is that it does have the logo here and it does have the The character's name in the front here and he does come with a menu as well. But yes. Yes a stand so that's a wrap up of my review for Armor Batman by Beast Kingdom. I think that they definitely delivered when they were adding the details on this figure. I really like the aesthetics of it. I think that the figure is on point for the most part. The only issue was some of the articulation. But as you can see on these photos, 
You could get them into decent poses. The cape, I think, with a with a cloth cape, this would have been phenomenal. As well as having light up eyes, I think that that would have made this figure really good. Outside of that, the skin texture, the details on this figure is amazing. Unfortunately, this version does not come with the spear. But if you was to get the exclusive version, that one comes with the spear. But I do recommend this figure. But just keep in mind that these guys are one knife scale, so they're not going to fit with your mafex or your mescos or none of those guys other than that if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button smash the crap out of the like button for me to help with the algorithm i would really appreciate that and thank you thank you so much for stopping by thank you y'all be blessed peace you're not brave you're not brave